Hi guys, it's me again with haul part two. Now, these things are from Two Peas, and I finally got oh, backwards. Finally got my hands on these stamps. Now they're not necessarily new. They are newer and they're definitely new to me but this is the Maya Road as you'll see I already used it. The Maya Road Art Journaling Words Stamp Set. See it's a bunch of individual words. Kind of cute. They have numbers. So anyway, I picked those up. It was like $10. I used this as well, but you guys have already seen this, I'm sure. Uh, it's the Lawn Fawn Paper Airplane Stamps, and it's actually called Flying By. It's about 5 bucks. I picked up Wood Veneer Studio Calico Hearts and arrows. I'm loving the wood veneer. And, you know, those are $3.99. I hesitated and I hesitated, but I finally caved in and bought the Studio Calico Stepping Stone uh, font stamp set. Let me see if I have my quarter handy. I have a dime. And there you can kind of see. It's about the size of a dime. I like them. I, I could have probably lived without them. They do not replace Quinn's Alphabet by Lawn Fawn. Quinn's Alphabet by Lawn Fawn is by Leaps and Bounds. One of uh, my, not one of, my favorite stamp font by far. Now, I picked up these little envelopes. They were a quarter apiece. These are the small ones. Cute, hmm? This is about the size of a business card. And, you know, if you have business cards for any reason to hand out, how cute to put it in one of these, right? Don't you think it's true that people don't throw away pretty things? And you put your business card in one of these. I'm not throwing it away, but then that's me. I think they might have broke the mold when they made me. <laughs> and here's another one, just like the other one. And the stamp set is 4 by 6 This will give you a good idea, the size of the envelope. You see there? This would probably be great for a size A2 card with the little stripe one. Red chevron. Yellow. Now, my thoughts were to put these on one of my scrapbook page layouts and put extra pictures in here. I would probably use the smaller ones for journaling. And then here's a nice big 5x7. I showed you that uh, in my other haul video where I got like 15 of them. Uh, where from? Somewhere. Uh, scrappy stuff. Uh, like 15 of them for about $4 and they had polka dots so go watch that video if you didn't see it and this is about 5 by 7 and I thought this would be great to put 5 by 7s in or once again to put your bigger size cards in here I like big cards and I cannot lie anyway <laughs> Don't you just hate somebody who laughs at their own jokes? But I do. I love big cards. I struggle doing cards, I guess, because I'm so used to doing scrapbook layouts. Then you give me this little 4 by 5 space, and I'm overwhelmed. I mean, you know, I am like going, 
batting myself on the side of the head like when a dog scratches their ear. That's what I do. So I like a bigger space, a bigger canvas to work on. And moral of the story, you can't often find like six by seven envelopes. I don't like to make envelopes, so I thought that this would be great for envelopes. 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 You say tomato, I say tomato. I just couldn't resist my mind's eye on the sunny side. This is the layered stickers. And you're, you're going to probably want to call 1-800-GET-HELP when I say this to you, but my grandson has a couple of summer outfits that are yellow. And when I noticed this collection online, the first thing I thought of is, oh my gosh, the layouts would be so cute with him with his yellow one. I seem to be running out of all of my labels from my collections. So I picked up a bunch of labels. I mean, when can you not use these? And this happens to be the October afternoon Seaside Collection labels. This is Rocket Age. I never did buy Rocket Age Collection. I that's probably one of the very few um, October afternoon collections that I didn't have to have. This is the five and dime word stickers. It says, um, I have to show you this and then tell you what some of the stickers say. And the stickers say, it's surprising how much memory is built around things unnoticed at the time. Good memories, happy days, fun times, memory, uh, the little words here, bike ride, daily news, good times, special of the day, gumballs, lunch counter. Look at the little bike. Isn't that cute? This is the farmhouse word stickers. This is the Toy Box Sticker Accents. How cute is this? I would love to see a layout by Nicole McGorick or Shamel Lane using these stickers. I don't know why I think that or what made me think that, but when I saw these stickers, I was like, gosh, I'd love to see what Shamel or uh, Nicole does with that. This is word stickers. October afternoon, fly a kite. And I'm going to speed it up here a little bit, guys. If you want to know anything I went by too quick, please just let me know. You know, I bought that Amy Tangerine uh, camera photo album. And I think what I'm going to do with that, I'm not doing Project Life, but I think what I'm going to do is just make it a hodgepodge of my favorite photos and my favorite layouts. So if you've been thinking, this is a thrift shop word stickers, if you've been thinking about getting that album but not doing Project Live or don't know what you'll do with it, you can steal my idea. And this is the Farm Fresh word stickers. Look how cute this one is. Friend. FF. Okay. I got those. Another oldie but goodie is a Seaside Collection by October Afternoon. And this is swim trunks. And this is the flip side. I actually saw a video 
on somebody using this kind of paper, which I always wondered, how could you use that? So I had to have a piece. And uh, I'm going to give that type of layout a try. This is also from the Seaside Collection. And this is Yellow Bikini. I bought it for this side. It's the Seaside Alphabets. And let me show you the size. There you go. Can give you an idea of the size of them. And that's my dime. This is the Boarding Pass Shape Stickers. Look at the cute camera. I just love this little guy. I mean, we're not going anywhere on vacation this year. We do have old vacation photos. And you know I'm loving this. But I just thought that, once again, you wouldn't have to use this necessarily on vacation pictures. Now we're back to On the Sunny Side by My Mind's Eye. And this is the uh, cardstock stickers. Um, you know, my grandson's yellow shirt and my home pictures. Cute bike, popsicle, summer loving, pennants. This is just the cutest little sun. Ice cream, ba ba boom. And this is my mind's eye, upside down, and it's the on the sunny side uh, punch out cardstock. Again, how cute is that sign? And I love this red and white paper there. Watermelon. Very cute. This is from October Afternoon Fly a Kite cardstock stickers. I thought the little girl in the swing was so cute. Little strawberry, little boy flying a kite. We've not had kite weather in Ohio in years. Now this is the Toy Box Collection from Echo Park. And this is called a mini collection. They only had like a couple pieces of paper. I think like five or six. But gosh, this is so cute. I wish they would have done a full collection. And, uh, did I say a name on this? This is called Hop. Very cute. They have one with Viewmasters, but they were out, of course. And this is, again, the Toy Box Collection. Let's see the... I, I remember having one of these. My son had one. As did my grandson. And what's this? The flip side is like tone on tone red, almost like a checkerboard. Oh, this is called Jump. This is on the sunny side again. And this is the side I got it for. And I'm not seeing a name, guys. Hang on. Well, it says the Sweet Life paper, but I don't know. Hang on now. I'll tell you if that's the name of the paper. Yes, that was the name of that. More sunny side. This is really cute. Like an orange and yellow. Oh, this is called Simple Stripe. And I bet that's why. Play date. And I ordered it for this side. How cute, huh? 
This is called In the Neighborhood. I got it for this side. But you know what? Who knows which side I'll use. How cute. This is called Sweet Chevron. But doesn't that look more like herringbone? Oh, never mind. Here's my little red flowers. This is called Prairie Paper. Cutie, cutie. And no butterflies. Like line art butterflies. And this is called Flutter. I don't know if you can see the pattern on that. I got it for the butterflies. Here's another freebie. I don't know if you're going to be able to catch that, how it's embossed. Ah, there you go. Real, a true chocolate brown. This is Campy Trails by American Crafts. Hmm, no other name. Kind of cute. It'd probably look really... Oh, there. Boy, I caught that one by accident. There you go. Um, that'll look cute with that wood grain that I bought from Urban Paper Craft. And... Oh, you know what the heck this is. That's another one of those freebies. Yeah. Campy Trails. No name, guys. Nice uh, wood grain. Guys, it's summer. Don't think that I forgot you or anything's wrong. We spend a lot of time outdoors and have a lot of company and dropovers and guests through the summertime. I, I might not see you as often as I do through the winter months. Don't think. I'm not thinking of you. But um, I just want to let you know... <laughs> If you don't see me, uh, yeah, please don't think I've gone anywhere. It's just in summer we get a little busy. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back in a dash with the cash.